um, before this started that I was sitting in the corner. I just thought, wow, everybody's going to get a kick out of me sitting in the corner with two policemen guarding me. <laughs> well, that's not an un uncommon occurrence, is it? Uh, no. um, just to build on what this gentleman said about the events, then I'll get on to my things. There was a meeting last Thursday uh, of Loveland Merchants. And with the dichotomy of businesses we have here in Loveland, it was very interesting. There was another retailer there that made a statement that said that these events aren't necessarily good for us as retailers. We have issues with them. However, that retailer and myself both said at that time, these events are good for Loveland. We don't need to drive them out of here. So please take a look at their request. I'm making the fees different. Okay. I'm here tonight to talk about the farmer's market. Seems like I've been talking about that quite a bit the last year. I also want to talk about the transient vendor license and in potential food trucks. Um, ordinance number 1165.7 subsection 717.01 formed the Loveland Farmer's Market. It allowed for the farmer's market to operate in downtown Loveland. Also, the farmer's market has a not-for-profit business license with the state of Ohio. I said this previously, the farmer's market is not a special event, it is a business. I dug into a little bit more things with the uh, forwarded emails from Ms. Cheshire, which I appreciate. I've also talked to some other business owners here in town. Not one other business in town has been approved to operate as a business in the city of Loveland by ordinance of the city council. In this ordinance, the city approves the operator of the Loveland Farmers Market. No other business has the city approved their operator. No other seasonal business can operate on city-owned property. Basically what I'm saying is it's a partnership between the city and the farmer's market. And that the new event policy should not and does not apply to the farmer's market. Because it is a partnership that the council of the city of Loveland created for its citizens to enjoy and use the market for footage, for foods. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's been a long day. Um, Therefore, I think, and many people agree with me that I've talked to tonight, that the $1,500 fee for application should not be attached to the farmer's market because it's not a special event, it's a seasonal business. We fought for this market. I was perceived to be on the opposite side, but I wasn't. Now I'm trying to help them even more. Hopefully they understand that. But this is some of the citizens of the city of Loveland and the surrounding townships went down here. Let's not force them out by dollars and cents. Next item I want to talk about is a transit vendor's license. Fees are too high, in my opinion. Believe me, there's no one else that are pro-business and want to make as much money as you can as I am. But it's just too high. I'm glad to see the hardship fee in there, or hardship situation in there. I think it's a good thing because there are small independent businesses that can take advantage of that. In this meeting that we were at, not one business person disagreed with the fact that there should be a permit fee. It's just what is the permit fee? The uh, amount of money it takes to operate each business, only the ownership can tell you what that is. Just like the city can only tell us what it costs to run the public service department, the police department, the public works department. The business owners can prove to you if this is a hardship or not. The other thing is, don't miscount or misconstrue 
what the negative publicity of this is getting for our community. Okay? Because here again, I pay money to be on TV. Everybody hates to see me there, but I, <laughs> I pay money to be there. They're here today. They were here at the last meeting. All because something's going awry in the city of Loveland. I'm not saying this is wrong. Believe me, again, I'm going to repeat what the business has said. There should be a fee somewhere, but what we're asking them to pay is too absorbent. Sound like a councilman talking. I used to be. Sorry about that. Next thing I'm going to talk about the food trucks. I think there's a difference, and the policy should show this difference as a category. There's a difference of an individual food truck coming in wanting to buy a permit and operate in the city of Loveland versus an existing business, i.e., place behind my business, or a restaurant wanting to put something outside here. Those are brick and mortar businesses that are adding to their business, adding to the wealth that they pay the city, helping more expense, or excuse me, income revenue tax brought in, and that that category should be subdivided. If an individual food truck wants to come in and just operate in the city, they should have a different fee than a Paxton's or a Cappy's wanting to set up something to help promote their business. I think that fee should be paid by the brick and mortar business in town for a yearly basis and not at $500 a crap because they are bringing business into this town and they're bringing tax revenue in. Events are designated, if I am uh, correct, as something that is larger than a business. It brings in a large amount of people. It requires police protection, fire protection, public works, everything to take care of the downtown properties that these events are, any properties these events are working on. These businesses take care of their own. They should have to not pay double taxation to operate their business because with a fee like this on food trucks or something that another restaurant wants to put outside during an event is double taxation. Last, a couple businesses and I have talked, and we as business owners, brick and mortar business owners, are willing to form a committee to help you with these fees. We will do the research of going to other communities. I've already done some. We will talk amongst other businesses and see if we can help get these fees more in line where businesses can thrive and survive in the city of Lowell. Thank you for your time. Perfect, Perfect timing, Tim. Does anybody have any uh, question for Mr. Canada? Thanks, Tim.